Alright, so, uh, yeah, hey guys, Sincosa back from another three week break. I, I need to stop doing these. But, anyways, so yeah, this is a really irrelevant video, but I did have the GFX thumbnail made for Kazuma, and I was like, hey, I'll, I'll make a Kazuma showcase and mini guide, why not? So, Kazuma came out about three days ago or two days ago. I am a little late to a. Uh, yeah, I am a little late to making a showcasing guide to this video, but this character is something else. He's like, oh, he, he's both really annoying and also really busted to fight. So I'm just going to make a showcase and mini guide on this character since I have the advantage. I know the effective way to play this character now. So I guess for the fact that this video is three weeks late, uh, I'll just throw in a mini guide. All right, so showcase. So the first uh, move we have on Kazuma is snipe. This is a ranged guard break with a really fucking stupid hitbox. It also comes back, like, for a guard break pretty quickly, and that's because it basically is one offensive move. That's why it not only is it a guard break and it comes back quickly. I think if you don't hit it on a guarding person, it does 25 damage. Yeah, which is really stupid. <clears throat> Overall, Snipe is, like, kinda dumb. Because if I go all the way over here, right, and I use, like, it, it has really stupid range. You can also aim it midair if you wanted. Yeah, like, that that arrow didn't even hit him, and yet the hitbox of it still decided to make it a connecting hit. <clears throat> so the second move we have on Kazuma is a weird one. It's Useless Goddess. Basically, Aqua comes out, and she gives a percent chance to either give two buffs, one being a health buff which lets you regen about 30 percent of your health another one is basically um <clears throat> another one is a uh, speed and attack buff which basically gives you like it, it's basically like you're using Jidori katana which it's basically <clears throat> oh yeah i forgot to mention kazuma has like katana m1s which is really stupid but yeah so here is the attack buff it makes me faster along with this it does 8.1 m1s per hit with ending with an 8.5 it's it, it there's no i don't know why especially with the katana or sword m1 it's really stupid the fact that it does that much damage it's i don't, I don't know what they were thinking when they made kazuma <clears throat> if you were to use useless goddess oh no it didn't give me the health buff well the other move is that it would give me a health buff now this is the move that makes him really annoying to fight is it's darkness and darkness is a counter move so if i'm getting m1 darkness comes out does both 15 damage and also launches my opponent back it's really stupid and now his final move is steel so it doesn't do any damage and but it does give you mode bar for your awakening if steel is blocked it gets a longer cooldown so it does it does have a very lengthy cooldown but it allows them to have like uh, oh god I, I hate his awakening so much all right first move triple snipe it again it's his guard break and it does way too much damage if you hit it oh never mind it, it, it only does 35 that's still a lot but it's not terrible so i'm gonna skip megaman for now and his second move is aqua aqua comes out and does kind of like a 35 damage hit which you can have one off of and his fourth hit is probably my favorite once using this kid it's really stupid it's fucking it's, it's drain touch no basically drain touch uh, gives you health back and it also <clears throat> does a ton of damage to your opponent. And now the star of the fucking awakening is Megumi, who does. Ugh, it's the. Uh, it'll speak for itself. Yeah, it does. It used to be a map wide explosion. I'm really glad the fact that they made it not a map wide explosion, but it still does 80 damage on connection. So, if I would have to say effective ways to play Kazuma. The best way to play Cosmo would, would, would be to run with them. I do not suggest doing them. Plus, you guys are subscribed to the Senkoza. I teach you guys how to play a character right. Now, when you're playing Cosmo right, right, all you have to do is just press your one key. And then you just start to... You, you just play... Okay, to play Cosmo, you just have to play really passively. Not to the point where you're running, but just shield poke a lot with M1s. Because you have Katana hitbox, so just shield poke a lot with M1s. And then you snipe occasionally. Which, since Snipe does a lot of damage, it serves you really well. And whenever you can, make sure you pop Useless Goddess, because the moment you get your attack M1, I mean, the moment you get your attack buff, just go crazy with your M1s. If you get your attack buff, you just be as offensive as possible, because you can combo people so easily, and you do so much damage to people with this attack buff. And if you get healing, then you're fine. But also, 
I'd suggest to not blindly throw out Steel, because I'll show it on the blocking dummy. If Steel gets blocked, it gives you like it gives you about like five frames of end lag, which isn't ideal at all. The thing that makes Kazuma really annoying to fight is if you're fighting a, co a character like Afro Samurai you can combo, you, you just have darkness. So you don't have to worry about getting comboed. That's what makes him really annoying. Overall, Kazuma is just really, really stupid. I'm sorry for this being a short video, but videos will be returning soon, and I'll leave a little sneak peek at the end of this of what my next video would be. If you guys like the video, a like would always be appreciated. Dislike it if you don't like it, and tell me things I could do better in the comments. Anyways, it's been Sun. I am out.